Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using the No Step Back DLC playing as Poland, but we must assemble a Regency Council. The act of the 5th of November was a promise made by the Central Powers to release a free and independent Polish kingdom out of the ashes of the Russian Empire. The resulting Regency failed to find a monarch before surrendering all powers to Pilsudski. But the Sanationists, unable to form a civil government, perhaps this time we reestablish the Regency to find Poland her rightful king, fulfill the 5th of November act. With the Regency Council reassembled, it's time to open the doors to all and any royal applicants seeking to claim the Polish throne. And with that one, <clears throat> so we get a lot of people who want to be on the throne, but we'll probably just go straight towards what? Yeah, let's get rid of, and this is what I usually do for my Polish campaigns, I want to get rid of the uh, Agarian, uh, the Peasant Strike, the potential, 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 potential Peasant Strike, but before you plan. We must plan for the expansion of our infrastructure to accommodate not only our present industry, but also the future, which would be very, very good. As you can tell, we're losing fuel, we've got no supplies. Or logistics, and we are, uh, well, using a historical for this campaign. Which, let's see, what's Germany up to? We can't tell. And what's the Russia up to? Or the Soviets? We can't tell. We'll see in just a little bit, though. We'll see in a very, 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 just a little bit to see how we're going to die in this campaign to the Soviets or to the Germans. And do we need planes? Oh, and we're also training a lot of planes here, too, and a lot of ships. Well, looks like Germany is staying the way it wants to stay. And the 40 plan. And now we'll get a lot of claimants to the throne. Um, you know what? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It just makes more sense to get a research slot. Now, we'll do this one, then that one, then that one, like I normally do. Polish School of Mathematics. Mathematics is centered to almost all things in the technological sector. All across Poland, from the Vev to Warsaw, the mathematical schools are flourishing. We must capitalize on this golden age of Polish thinkers and grant these men all that they need to make Poland the technological powerhouse it deserves to be. Because it deserves to be one. As we're slowly trying to get more air XP training our soldiers as much as we possibly can and maybe it's looking okay even though we have no um huh ports which does suck but we need a lot of guns we need a lot of sport equipment a couple planes that's nice thank you very much even more research speed yes please thank you thank you thank you thank you polish gold mathematics mathematical sciences features christian claims to throw them if you want to read about that one please go ahead no uh, we have another one in mind probably yeah as much fun as you would be I have done, at the time of this recording, the Habsburg route, which I probably need to do again. I don't think I've played this quite right correctly or set it up correctly. So I'd like to do that route again sometime. Let's see. I've done, I think, the Hohenzollern. Yeah. The Kingdom of, like, Poland, Romania, which was a lot of fun. Still not too bad. And then I don't think I've done the claimant, the Commonwealth claimant. Yeah, that was this guy. The Royal Legitimus, which wouldn't be bad. And basically you're not with Lithuania, which wouldn't be, okay, not much stronger. And I have not done yet, at the time of this recording, the Cossack King, which sounds like a lot of fun too, but... Uh, that's going to be for another campaign. Hmm. Looming Peasant Strike, what do we want here? Revi from the Commonwealth. Ooh. Can we actually just... just oh, we can't... Oh, man, we can't just find them. That sucks. Um, Army XP would be nice. We're going to wait for any of these guys first. Russian Mobilization. Uh, the Habsburg Candidate. If you want to read about this one too, please go ahead as well, but... Let's go ahead and start working on some Army XP. We desire another. Keep working, 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 working. After the Polish School of Mathematics, though. And I always thumb down Danzig. Um, just because we can. I don't. I, I want Danzig as a core every single time because it's worthwhile. The other railway gaps. Poland was once divided between two, three powers. And as such, our rail networks are distant and unconnected. We must unite these three separate railway lines in one if we're to make Poland the centralized industry we need it to become. Lots and lots of infrastructure. Or at least two infrastructure. And lots of railways, which is very nice. Very nice. Very good. And getting that fourth research slot is so helpful. Oh my goodness. Are we done trading here? How and why? <clears throat> yeah, we're getting a lot of divisions for where we're headed. A lot of cavalry, too. Ah, there we go. Very good. Very, very good. And so we got all this stuff going along. 1936. Here, you can grab that stuff. Why not? After that, then we're going to grab this one. Oh, Crown Prince Michael of Romania. If you want to read about this, please go ahead as well. No, we're okay, Romania. I think that, as great as that is, I think we'll wait. A gearing reform. A peasant strike is on the horizon, all across the country. Food prices are skyrocketing, and both our disjointed industry and the government's lack of action to aid Poland's poorest caused great unrest in the peasantry. With sufficient investment and reform, however, we should be able to become more than capable of meeting the peasants' demands. Absolutely. Good. And we got some time for that one, which is fine. I'm tempted to do a brew working conditions to get more stability, because stability is pretty darn useful, not gonna lie. Pretty darn... Oh, trucks. Useful. I forgot. I always forget about trucks. I always forget about them. Not good, though. Never good to forget about them. But he is. He's getting a little bit of uh, stuff here. 
Um, I think next we'll go partial mobilization if we can, just because we're getting a little bit of army XP. We're getting, we were getting a little bit of naval XP, and we had a thing going for air XP, but I guess we're done training for now. It does kind of suck. So we're only out 12,000 guns to Cossack King. Ooh. Now this looks like a lot of fun, and I definitely want to play this route sometime, but if you wonder about that, please go ahead. But well, what now? Mad time. God, I'd love to. But then, what's going to happen if we reject all four claimants to the throne? Hmm. I see going to the Kaiser. Maybe we should have done that one. Oh, well. Join the Axis? Yeah, probably not going to happen. Oh, Vilm the second, third, or Victoria's current leader. Has the national spirit Vilm the third. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, hope we don't die here. I hope, really hope we don't die. Uh, well, I'm not sure what Stalin's up to. Maybe they're going to have a civil war? But, oh yeah, they're definitely going to have a civil war. Look at that. They're getting more uh, fascist and non-aligned support, which is, you know, interesting. So we don't have to worry about that side. We have to worry about the German side for quite a while. Hopefully the civil war over here takes a long time to fire. So... Now what? Is there is there another? Because actually after doing the whole uh, peasant gear check thing. Oh. Um, oh, did they just go back in time again? British Christian. Eh, oh, we have another mine. Huh. <laughs> not really, but maybe. Central, uh, ooh, that's not bad. That. Central region strategy is pretty good as well. National defense fund is very good as well, too. But I'm, I always thump down Danzig just because you get political power, command power. And, I, and like I said, I want a core. But let's go first. Do this. Thank you. Alright, clamp down Danzig. Officially, Danzig is a free city under Polish protection, but as of late... The city has fallen into Nazi control and is a puppet to Adolf Schmittler in all but name. This blemish on a northern border is nothing but an obstruction to Polish trade, and we must reassert control over the city, or risk crumbling to the Germans, of course. Yeah, that one's not good. Oh, we'll get this one too eventually. Which I will do once we do like a historical run eventually, but we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. But now we can get up to 11, and build it slightly faster. Not bad. Not bad at all. Regency Council. Forever our regency. Passport candidate. Um, no, we desire sort of another. I guess it's just going around in rounds now, because I've never, I'm not, I've never tried this off screen either, so I have no idea if we can actually get the person I want in mind. But we should be able to, right? Right. Hopefully, hopefully. So which way is France going then? Mm, can't tell. Spain is dying. So we're here. Soviet Air Force, Red Army, five year plan, ground based training, anti Soviet military thinking banned, shipyard staff purged. Alright. And time to clamp down on Danzig. Good. We'll start with that one. And then what? Nothing still over here. Interwar artillery is not bad. Uh, I want to grab some of this stuff. But it's a little bit ahead of time. As much as I want tanks, they're hard to just. They just cost so much to use. So expensive. Crown Prince? Nope. Prepare for the next war. Yeah, I do want to ban him, but uh, this, I mean, this would be good to do as well. National Defense Fund. Central Region Strategy, just, just to get some more civvies and building slots, and a bonus for industry, too. By centralizing factors far from any borders, we will boost our production while also protecting them from any would-be conquerors. Not a bad idea. There you go. Uh, that's uh, like 20 days ahead of time. It's fine. Mm. This one's not, though. Might as well do that one because he can. Oh, do we get trucks yet? No, no trucks. Disappointing. Anti Comintern Pact. Germany proposes that we sign a, a pact to address the Comintern's goal of spreading communism worldwide. Through the use of subversion as violence, by signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation against this menace. Of course. Uh, this one's always going to do resistance. Goes down, more compliance. Unification propaganda is actually really good as well. There you go. And this one, need more than 40% compliance. So if we give it like a day, maybe. We see Danzig, yay! Finally! Go to convoy. Yay! There you go. And it's not going up due to the insufficient garrison. Who, well, who's manning the garrisons right now? We're going to duplicate you. Aries. Actually, can we just take it off? 
There we go. There we go. That should be a little bit better. In which, actually, yeah, civilian oversight is the other one we want to go. So I thought we had a local autonomy, but we do not. You should be able to go up higher. Okay, so maybe not. Um, we need a Titan control. So we need whatever is cheaper here. 70, we don't have 70 and 70. Hmm. Yeah. Daily compliance would be very nice though. Dude, if it, what are we missing besides guns? Cossack King? We got what now? It's just guns. Yeah. If you want to do that, then... Oh, we're not even making divisions. Well, that's not good. Huh. It's alright. We'll get there. We'll get there. Give us a little bit of time. We'll get there. My gosh. High compliance. I don't want to spend the PP for it. Uh, let's see, 50. This is growth speed. 75. Uh, there we go, tank control. There we go. What happened? What, what what finally changed? Just because of the garrison, that's all. Tank control. Now it's going to be okay. Now it's going to be okay. Good, 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 good. Um, let's see. Ooh, there goes Latvia. New Polish industry. With the West now reclaimed from the Germans, we must develop the burgeoning industries in cities like Edania, which are rapidly coming to rival Warsaw and Grandeur. As it should. Military appeasement? Nope. Good, find some trucks. Finally, some trucks. Well, there you go. They start making more of the trucks. So now, this is looking. When is it going up? No, it's going down, which is good. We do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm as well. Good, keep going up, keep going up. And just save some people for that. Anastasia Romanov arrived in Poland. What? Warsaw ca Castle. Painted eagles. Yes, I remember them. I'm the one true king of Poland. The infamous claimant to the name. Anastasia Romanov has arrived in Warsaw Castle today, along with her publicist who claim that the Romanov family still lays claim to the throne of Poland. And as the last Romanov, she is logically the king. Hmm. Anast Anastasia's claim rests not only on the strength of a Romanov claim to Poland, but also the legitimacy of her lineage. Though many former Russian nobles attest that she is indeed the real Anastasia, many see her as an eccentric, with an excess of media coverage. Although her claim may be in doubt, she is the last on the list of candidates, and to turn her away now would lead Poland right back where she started, an empty throne gathering dust. Perhaps we just missed Friedrich Christian too quickly. Our king will be the last Romanov, probably. Nice. Ah, we're white! Finally, it popped out. Invite exile nobility. Though many Russian nobles refuse to acknowledge the rightful heritage of our king Anastasia, inviting them back with the promise of noble titles may entice them to change their position and acknowledge her as one of the one living true born daughter of Tsar Nicholas II. Stability, support for underline. Last Romanov question mark with the last Romanov. No question mark. Very cool. Hello, our king! Huh. You don't look like a king, but you know what? Whatever. Ah, king. Pan Slavic Revanchism. War sport, generate Rogel tension, just by Rogel stabs resistance target. Demand Lithuania. Ooh, I want to do that immediately. We need more manpower in the field. Ooh. Actually, these, these guys are just not thick enough. Um, how many, we got probably more infantry divisions than anything else. If anything, make you guys a little thicker, and then make you guys thicker as well. There we go. More manpower, more manpower. After this, I want to see if we can take more control. That'd be good. Is it still going up? It's going down slightly. I'll take a look here first. Nice. Very good. Yes, take more control. Good, good, good. Happy 37, everybody. Get more output, please, because my god, do we need it. Oh, more factories. Yes, please. 20,000 guns needed. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> We're going to need a lot of support equipment as well, so there's that. Uh, this is looking fine. Planes. We're going to need a lot of planes, too. A lot of cast. I love cast so much. Keep training them, shippies. We're doing okay here now. We'll keep trying to try to take control. Oh, they're not so nice. That's good. That's actually very good for us. We're just as wide as Austria. Um, they're in the Allies early, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Oh yeah, definitely not a lot of non-aligned support there. So what happens if we go with the King and King Anastasia, and they go with the King over here too, Vladimir, Tsar Nick, Tsar Vladimir? Be a little awkward. Definitely be a little awkward. Yeah, demand with me. We need more manpower. Mm. 
Can't deploy anybody early. Uh, oh, we were somewhat close-ish. Pan-Slavic Revanchism. Well, we're going to use this done eventually. Wait, the Congressional... Poland demands our annexation. Huh. Uh, the Pan-Slavic movement thus far has been little more than a useful tool for the Russians to claim hegemony over all Slavs, but it's also been useful in uniting desperate, desperate Slavic peoples into the United States, like Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia. Why, then, should Poland be any exception? Should Poland not also capitalize on the wave of Pan-Slavism? Can't be there. Hey, Russian Second Civil War. No. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh! Jinkashek was executed, too. And... Oh, boy. Yeah, if I were to help out, like, supplies are just so bad here. Just so bad. And I think this national spirit lasts all game. The true Tsars, which is really nice when you play them, but still. As much as I want to send, like, stuff, you guys are just so far away. So, I don't know. We'll see. Good. Keep tightening control. That's super important, 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 important. Good. After that one. Oh, we can't do this one yet, yeah. Hmm. Manpower. How much manpower do we have in the field now? Not enough. We need more guns. That's probably the big thing. We just need more guns. Yeah. Hmm. China declared war on communist China. So be it. I want to move fast enough so we can actually get the puzzle. Oh, that's okay. Do you want to save someone guns and manpower, maybe? Maybe not? No? Hmm. Why are we just train a lot of these guys? Here, yeah, we can do that. Excavation 1. Logistics, because we're going to need them eventually. You guys, that's fine. Go there, too. Slowly getting more trucks, which is very nice, actually. How are we looking here? Looking a lot better. Max got compliance. Very good. Last time, the Bermontians proved unable to annex Lithuania, but now with the Polish army at his back. Pavel stands in position in such power he may well intimidate the Lithuanians into handling, handing themselves over on a silver platter. A king did not grovel and beg for his kingdom as he takes it as his right. Huh. Anti-tank might be worth doing as well. Yeah. We might want some serious anti-tank here. Yeah, it's gone. Unfortunate, but oh well. Can I actually get you as a core? That would that would help out with making more guns. All right, so we can't do anything else here. We need more probably manpower in the field. We need to demand Lithuania next. So. Krakow Industries? Oh, that's like a wild. Ban the Nazi Party. We've got enough support amongst the populace of Gdansk that we may officially purchase the city of Nazis and reclaim the city for the Polish state. That sounds very good to me. Little Entente reaffirmed. Old Guard? No, thank you. The Goal Neutrality Act? Not bad. Actually, can we just go straight to war with them? Just bypass that focus. Or can we just go to war with Latvia? Hmm. I mean, it seems impossible to get any more soldiers in the field right now at all. So even one of these guys was deployed. How much manpower would that be? 5,500. We could probably wait. Oh, they are they in some... Bro. We could try that. I'm not... Hold on. Is there anything else for a Sony down here? Uh, Slovakia, governor of Livonia. We do get a war goal, but we need 550,000 manpower in the field. Oh my gosh. Seek German alignment. We want to claim Russia eventually. Proclaim Slavic unity. Wow, we get a lot of cores. Holy crap. Mm, Lithuania, Polish, and Latvian states. We do get the eventually... Oh my gosh, that's kind of weird. Mm, maybe best not to go to war with anybody yet. We'll see what happens. Let's not go to war with anyone yet. Just yet. Just yet. Just yet. More compliance, less resistance. Honestly, I think we're good now, so we don't need to waste our political power on that. Um, what's over here? Defense. Cavalry. More defense for now. Anyone else we can choose here? Smooth talker. Noble bureaucrat. Oh, I should have won this guy. Oh, my bad. My bad. Man, the Nazi party. Thank you very much. We could just auto deploy you all. Wait, why can't I? Oh. There you go. Now, that should be good, right? 
Yay, it is. Here, just join them for now. It's fine. Cool. We're way out of guns, but that's okay. So... Hey, it looks it looks intimidating when we have 21 divisions here, but it's definitely not. Most definitely not. Yeah. So the con Congressional Kingdom of Poland demands Lithuanian annexation? You bet we do. Governor of Livonia? Well, we don't have that much manpower left. Demand Slovakia. Demand Yugoslav subjugation. If it is our for pan-Slavic unification is ever to be realized, we must not neglect the South Slavs. Though national borders and great mountains are between us, we are all Slavs all the same. I want everyone here to get ready on the line. And how are the planes? You guys are finally done. So you guys can actually do that too. Oh, you're already there. You guys do this too. Give them to the horse boys. Give me more planes. Go and train. And you train as well. Not bad. We'll see what happens. Supplies are really bad right now probably. But it's just because of uh, training. Not bad. Oh, and there goes those, that group. Yeah, that's not looking good for the rebels here. That's really not looking good. Maybe we're going to do some funky stuff to make sure that they actually do really well. Oh, they're fighting 10 and 2 for 2, though. Hmm. But after the demand Lithuania, of course, we'll do demand Yugoslav subjugation. The Kingdom of Lithuania accepts. Today is a great day of celebration for the Congressional Kingdom of Poland as the Lithuanian military has thrown down their arms and showed uh, and allowed Polish soldiers to march right into the capital and proclaim the reunification of the Congressional Kingdom of Poland and the Kingdom of Lithuania. A commonwealth were born. The streets of Orzazo was filled with men and women waving Polish and Lithuanian flags in tandem, although such celebrations could not be seen in the Lithuanian capital, where people seemed to be strangely somber and mournful. The Commonwealth, of course, is Rabor. And we do get the divisions. Oh, happy day. Yes, we do. Uh, go for the model infantry. That's fine. There you go. We'll just actually add you to right there. You're a new part of our army. Yes. Actually, now without extra soldiers, we'll have more men in the field, which is very good, even though we need more stuff in general, but whatever. Um, what do we have here? Anti-tank, yeah, we get to do eventually too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're demanding subjugation as well. Uh, we need at least half a million in manpower in the field. We're close. We're very close. There you go. Good luck with that. I'm probably going to delete some of these cavalry divisions eventually, but that's okay. Actually, you guys are... S oh, you're only six comic width. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's really bad, actually. Huh. Demand Slovakia? Wait, is that not enough, ma enough map? Wait, what? Oh, do we, we might need to raise the conscription level. Yeah, we're, we're filling it out. We're filling it out. It's fine. It's fine. I swear. It's fine. It's fine. Czechoslovakia is weak in her territory the envy of her neighbors. If the Germans can take the Sudeten by merely asking, can we not take Slovakia all the same? Well, it's 37. They have not done it yet. It's fine with us, but still. Hello. Where we go? Oh, maybe I did. Oh, I forgot to do some funky stuff off screen. I eh, always got time for that, so. Um, you all. Prepare yourselves. Alright, it is 37, it's almost 38. Time to get some more research speed because we can. And just do that too. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's almost 38, like I said. What do we want to grab? This stuff? Sure, why not? Over here. From the Commonwealth. Well, we need all. Some other states. We need more compliance up here too, so. Gotta wait a little bit. The last one went off. Kinda hurts us, but that's alright. There we go. There we go. Now it's nice. 1.36, that's better than it was before. I hope we get Yugoslavia. I really do. That'd be so nice if we could. We need way more guns though. Holy crap. Let's save just in case. Uh, I hope they accept. That'd be awesome. If they actually accept, that'd be amazing. I'm pretty sure they won't, but. You know, it is what it is. Who do we get? Oh. That's awkward. Croatia and Slovenia? Okay. They refuse, of course. Shockingly, the Yugoslavian government refuse their demands to abdicate control of the Balkan region to the Congressional Kingdom of Poland. Our attempts at finding a diplomatic solution have failed. This has now become a matter for the military. Darn it, that sucks. Yeah, how, how long do we have this? Oh, they're the little Entente, too, so... That sucks. It looks impressive, because they have all these flags here defending the same group, but... It's not really, but whatever. Save the map out for now. I'll probably delete some of these divisions, too, so... It's fine. Uh, Governor Livonia. 
when Pavel invaded Lithuania and Latvia all those years ago. He stood in a Polish position to reclaim the government of Livonia in his own personal fiefdom. Now Latvia is weak, and the might of Poland is at Pavel's back. There is little stop in the restoration of the Livonian government. Which we definitely have to go raise the conscription level next. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. definitely. Limited conscription. Ah, oh, it sucks. We have no manpower. Oh, there comes Ukraine. Actually, that would be very helpful for these guys over here. How do you not squash this group? How? It's not that difficult to do. And how much manpower do we have in the field right now? Not, not enough. Just not enough. Hmm. Maybe we have to wait to do that one first. And what we'll do instead... Integrate Gdansk Industries. For decades, Gdansk has been separated from the rest of the nation. But no more. By integrating Gdansk into our administration, we will be able to reclaim the control of our exports and imports. Which is very, very good. Go ahead. We'll do this one, but I want to finish off the civvies first. And start working on some of the millies. Which would be very, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Ooh. Actually, we don't have all of this done. Hmm. Keep training if you can. Those German boys, they do be looking mm, unsavory. There you go. So that goes Georgia. Should up all supplies slightly at least. Ooh, Ukraine is definitely pushing in. That's nice. Oh, that's not good. They actually went all the way there. Ooh. She is the capital, which is not good. <clears throat> come on, Slovakia, come on. Come on. Even if I say it, they're all gonna if they say no the first time, they're probably gonna say no the second time. And that's probably just gonna happen, happen, happen all the time. Which does suck. They refuse. They refuse our demands to see the Slovak region. Our attempts at finding a diplomatic solution fail, and this is not going to matter for the military. What is that? In Slovakia. God dang it. Can we try? I mean, we can try it. You know what? We can try it. Going to war with them. Because we need their territory. Then again, we don't, we don't cores on this, do we? We have a claim. We're not cores. <clears throat> Would we actually be able to win here? At all? I mean, we have to fight the... And we have to fight Romania, too. Hmm... Supplies are pretty bad down here, too. Probably a really bad idea to, to try to fight them. You could try it, though. You could try it. Actually, don't send them all. Send half these guys. Supplies suck. Like, they're really bad down here, so. Radio, and some of that. Hmm. How strong are you guys? Not that much manpower. Then again, they have more than us. Hmm. Will they attack us like crazy? They might. You know what? I'll try it. Yeah, they're going to attack us like crazy, which is fine. I want to get a lot more army XP. There we go. So naval stuff. Fleet being. Thank you. Are they beating us here? That's not good. Of course, these divisions aren't great either, so. Gotta keep that in mind, too. Someone needed this. Yeah, there you go. Lots and lots of army XP if possible. Oh, they're forcing the attack. Holy crap. Ah, there we go. Now get more manpower. There we go. We lost 6,000. They've lost 11,000. Not bad. The Netherlands gave to the British. I'm not sure where the Germans are up to, but quickly oh, goes Austria. We're going to join the Axis. Yeah, you're literally not allowed to loot this area. Oh, man, they lost 10,000. They've lost 30,000 some total, huh? Hey, we got some manpower back finally. Thank goodness. And one of upgrades, actually. Not yet, not yet. You all should be learning quite, quite a bit, though. Quite a bit. Trying to airstrike us, which does suck. Seem to be doing okay-ish. Standing by. Yeah, I don't think standing by is going to really be helpful here. There you go. And close air support. There you go. Well, we have no extra planes. That's fine. No one else help us out, which does suck. But whatever. Don't lose the mountains. If anything, do not lose the mountains. Huh. What, what, did, what did I literally just say? Do not lose the mountains. But this army speed is really nice to get. They've got to be losing more than how much they've already lost. It's kind of a bit ridiculous that they can just hang out here and take all these losses and not suffer any consequences. It's be super nice. That's not bad. And what else is next? It's, of course, 38. Hmm. Fuel. Rubber. Eh, go do some of that stuff, too, because you can. 
Like that? Amateur, yes, please. I'm going to separate half you guys. I'm going to just delete half his army. Um, hmm, we need more manpower in the field, though, still. We have... We're getting there. We are definitely getting there. So after this one, what are we going to do next? Portland West? Probably. That's in the old Polish region. Ooh, the National Defense Fund would be very good, too. Hmm. Investing in Eastern Poland, though, is also very good, too. The National Defense Fund. Citizens of the state alike must contribute to the funding of our growing industry to prepare for the perils of the years to come. Absolutely. Slowly losing here, even though... Wait, is that? Yugoslavia. They sent soldiers over. Makes sense. Don't worry about it. Hold for now. There you go. The National Defense Fund. Supplies are really bad. Makes sense. More war propaganda gives you more defensive core territory, which is super, 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 super important. We need more guns. It sucks that no one wants to donate to us. Oh, so bad. There you go. So we'll actually go this other way. One division is not strong enough there. There you go. Seriously, bro? They're slowly pushing in, which sucks. But I do like this army, army speed we're getting. I've lost 170-some thousand. We lost, we lost quite a few guys, too, which is not good. Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about attacking. Pull out a little bit. Let them take resistance. I'm very surprised if they have any stockpile of guns left. They have none, which is good. They have a few, which is not good, but whatever. Yeah, stop attacking. Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about it. Actually, you guys have no orders, do you? Uh, we need to guard towards the center. Come on. Go right there. And do that. Anything over here? Infantry specialist? Uh, sure, why not? And you, level 4. That's good. He's already level 4. Yeah, no. You're not allowed to lose Krakow. Where are they getting all these guns from? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. They take that towel. They're going to lose even more supply. Yeah, that's a bit ridiculous. Maybe I should have gone to war with them, but we're going to win this in the, in the end anyway, so. Yeah, they keep forcing an attack. Like, I do not understand how. What, what are the Germans up to? Are they doing nothing against... It's already July 38. This makes no sense. But, let's see. What else are we going to do? Hmm. Another focus. Such so a defense of Poland. Hmm, more guns. We could probably use that, honestly. Yeah, another 35 day focus, more guns. Yeah, let's just defense of Poland. Poland's lacking the equipment needs to defend against the counter stress of the border. By expanding the Ministry of National Defense, we'll be better equipped to fight any army who seeks to brutalize Poland under an occupation. And here we are at our one, which we actually did really well against Czechoslovakia this time because I actually added these divisions a little bit more and we threw on artillery and engineers. Who knew that throwing on engineers and artillery on both of our divisions and anti air would actually make it a little easier for us? Then again, it also helps when the Germans have literally just declared war on the Czechs for the Sudetenland. So, overall, actually going back and putting on artillery was very, very helpful. I should have done that way longer, but that was my apologies. Um, we're still here against uh, the Romanians, and they're doing quite well against us. I mean, these guys are only 20 combo. Oh, never mind. Oh, I didn't convert them. Ooh. There we go. We're going to need way more manpower. Holy crap. No wonder we're losing here. No wonder we were losing here. Yeah. Um, yeah. But overall, not bad. It, it, it helped out so much when the Germans actually decided to go to war with us. And also, we did send a non-aggression pact with the Germans. And, as you saw, just Hungarians. So we do have a non-aggression pact. Yeah. Also, in the Soviet Union, they're doing... Chris, they defy Mongolia. They're doing slightly better because Kazakhstan did... Okay, all of Central Asia broke free. But... And as well as Belarus, but... It is what it is. I'm not too concerned about them. So really, with Germany, I don't want the Sudetenland. They can have the Sudetenland. I'll take all of Slovakia. That's fine with me. You know, I, you know, I, we went to war just to try it out. I had to replay it once or twice, but overall, it's not bad. Just make sure you throw on things, important things, such as engineer companies, on uh, huh, your divisions because you go and need them. Oh, oh, we got them. Oh, nice. Actually, this is gamey. This is really stupid. I should be doing this, but we're just gonna take whatever we want. 
uh, including Yugoslavia, so you guys can have the Sudan land. Please don't kill us off, please. Zeoli, we have claims on that, so they're not going to get that. We're going to get that. There you go. Um, we have claims on that, too. Uh, Serbia, Yugoslavia. You know what? Hungary's going to want this anyways, eventually. Let's give it to them. Maybe I should not give it to them. Didn't we demand subjugation from these guys? I thought we did. Oh, there's going to be cores on us for us anyways, eventually. Uh, You know what? Because of the way it's set up, I'm going to actually do something I don't ever do. I'm going to puppet the rest of this. Just because we don't... We, don't, we probably won't have... A, direct land access to them maybe and we can always annex them later so let's puppet them I'm gonna it's not fair that we get Romania too but you know it's a peace deal I'm just gonna puppet them as well just because I don't we don't have the manpower or guns to do anything about them so we're gonna do that and for all the rest of these guys we're just thinking of anything else it's fine yeah I think that'd be best for everybody here um oh we're still war these guys let's check on taunt yeah so my bad Yugoslavia is now gonna be mini Serbia I'm glad we got these guys too. That's actually really nice. But still, yeah, it helped out when Germany went to war with these guys. That's actually very nice. Now we have a huge board against them, though, which is not good. Not good at all. Also, I did throw these horses over there as well. Honestly, I'd rather just have you guys become infantry at this point. You guys can, well, then again, you guys should become infantry. If anything, here, you guys can. And you guys come over here too. You guys should become the infantry, and then you guys just remain horses because this guy is really good with horse horse stuff. So. Yeah, you guys just all do that. So, yeah, it was actually a lot easier when you, uh, huh. Actually, have the Germans in, in, invade as well. And you actually, you know, cut them off. And throw in artillery, engineers. Yeah, we, we went from our, around here-ish, where the border was. Go straight down south, cut off a lot of checks, cut them, kill them off that way. Cut them off again, cut them off that way, which is really, actually really nice. Uh, what is this like? Yeah, I can't really do too much against, oh, Croatia. Well, I guess we are down here, technically. Uh, can we call them in the war? Actually, yeah, you can come down here. So yeah, not bad. Oh, you guys okay? Yes. Oh, the the Raj actually wants to send us stuff this time. Oh, look at that. Oh, and also we're doing the government of Livonia. I forgot about that. But I already read this one. Once if you want to do it again, please go ahead. Actually, if you guys want to, okay, yeah, that'd be so nice. I just hope we don't get killed by the uh, Germans and stuff. Look at it, not bad, not bad, not bad. We have a little bit of manpower. We're still mobilizing a little bit. Bosnia is gone. Oh. Well. I don't think we really deserve anything here. Italy has claims a lot of this stuff. Um, Honestly, if we do that with Italy... But Italy's not in the war, so we'll just give it to Germany, probably. How much score do they need? Oh my gosh, too much. Is that enough? Yeah. They can have that. There you go. No, it is what it is. Just please don't go to war with us. Please don't go to war with us. Please don't go to war with us, man. And who do we have? Yugoslavia. I mean, that's fine. Oh, that, we already have them under us. Oh. Claim Russia. Oh. War goes against provisional Russian government. The last Romanov with the last Romanov. More political power, stability, war support, or assert Western claims. Which, I mean, th this one's okay. Just because you don't get cores, you can always go to war with them anyways. The borders of Poland seem to coincidentally leave out many of her former territories that have since become great industrial centers. It would be useful for the Bamontian cause if they were to re be retaken into Polish control. Of course, then you can demand Pomerania, but you don't need to do that one. You can also claim Russia. Honestly, this one's much better, because you actually get the last Romanov, which is so much stronger. King Anastasia Romanov, as the last living heir to the Tsar Nicholas II, and as such, her claim to the Russian throne is not only legitimate, it is God's will. With Russian nobles supporting her claim, Anastasia stands ready to claim her birthright as Empress of Russia. Are you being... Uh, ooh. Oh, that's a... Wait. Ooh. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not sure I was supposed to get this doing without Latvia. Were we supposed to be able to go to war with Latvia? Maybe I should have went to war with them. I got my Baltic countries all screwed up. Um, actually, they're probably going to join the Axis as well. Albania? Hmm, we got a lot of enemies now on all sides. Not good. Not good. Don't get me wrong, I like the non-aggression pact. But still, the military parade reform the Commonwealth eventually. Oh, uh, we could. Data support for unaligned. Actually, who's leading these countries? Oh, uh, yeah, Carol II, of course. Prince Paul is all the Banat of Serbia. Wait, what? What are they doing here now? 
Oh, wait. Oh, the guarantee of independence. Okay, thank you. Move Macedonia up. Op opposition. Release Macedonia. Kosovo. Montenegro. Oh, my gosh. Autonomy. Oh. Yeah, they don't own any of this stuff, so then they can't do anything else after that. Wait, they, my puppet's gonna get puppets. Oh, crap. What? If I have to, I'll just straight up annex them if I have to, and then maybe re-release them. We'll see what happens. I don't want to do that, but we'll see. They guarantee our independence. Let me go to war with these guys. What happens? De Denmark? Uh, that seems very convoluted. and seems very not bueno, but... All I can say is it's a good thing that the Germans are, or the Russians are still in their civil war. Wow, they are taking so long with this. My gosh, holy crap! Right, so with that in mind, you guys just come down here if you can. That's good. And horse boys, twenty cow with finally actually decked out and looking okay-ish. Got a lot of horse boys, which we like. Australia seeks distance from the Commonwealth, so be it. Whatever. Claim Russia. We have Pomerania. Depends when it happens. I mean, if we are in the Allies, second Vienna. What? Oh my goodness, yeah, we need way more. Yeah, we need way more. Yeah, we need way more manpower, too. Well. What? Why did you do... Uh, that's not good. That's even more border we're going to defend. Okay, no, okay now they're war with the Allies. And Italy joined them, too. Okay, that's not good. Uh, we might have to wait to go to war with the Latvians, maybe... Maybe... A hundred days. If we can move fast enough, that'd be so good. A two for war for the Axis is good to have. We don't, just not that strong now. Oh, Italy is, is pushing in. Sure, guys, you want to come in? That's fine. Ooh, Ooh that's not good. France, were you ready for this war or not? Hmm. Claim Russia. Uh, you got to hold, France. Claim Russia after that one. Demand Pomerania? We could. We claim Slavic unity. We need... Oh, my gosh. That's so many cores you need first, though. 38. Go get some more construction speed. Claim Russia. France between the seas. I mean, that'd be good to do, but... Yeah. It's considered a major... It's a faction leader. Which we could actually do ourselves quite easily. But then there's no point to do that, maybe. Hmm. It's a German alignment. Nah, we're good. We have to be fascist for that one. Complete the Bermontan mission. We'll go against the Soviet Union. Hmm. Yep. Probably prepare for the next war. The Great War may have only been the first of its kind. We must prepare for what must surely be an ever-changing battlefield. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we need central defense of Poland. I, I read that one earlier too, right? It's like the equipment needs to defend itself against the countless threats to our border. By expanding the Ministry of National Defense, we'll be better equipped to fight any army who seeks to brutalize Poland under uh, occupation. Oh, God. I do want to go to war with these guys quickly, though, if we possibly, 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 possibly can. Uh, can we get more manpower? <laughs> oh, it's not good. Uh, war Industrious is not bad. Staunch Aristocrats, not bad either. That's pretty good, actually. More stupid. Stability is always good, too. Captain of Industry. Hmm. I kind of like this guy. More millies, more civvies, more stuff like that. They'll be actually very strong as well. There you go. Keep banging up, making those factories. Oh, my gosh. We need so many millies. Oh, my gosh. Uh, improved working conditions wouldn't be bad, either. Reorganize the railway system from the Commonwealth. Could use more daily armor speed though. Cavalry, yeah. But uh, daily armor speed though. Armor, we'd have no armor. Go with cavalry. That'd be nice. Lots and lots and lots of benefits for us. Good. And make sure you're all actually this type of My god, we need more manpower. Huh. Oh my gosh, that dropped so hard. Garys. Okay, so we can go to war them now. Will they join the Allies or Axis? If we can move fast enough, we should do okay here. If not, obviously that wouldn't be okay, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's best to save, just in case. We can move fast enough. Come on, go, 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 go. Where's the capital? Ah, right here. Can we go with Riga, too? They're in the common turn, I and mean, we need them. We absolutely need them in our faction. Okay, Portugal's killing itself too. That's fine. New military academy. Plan east, plan west. Well, as much as we want to go east right now, plan west is probably the, the way we got to go. The axis is breathing down our necks. 
though some within the government believe her relationship with Hitler to be cordial. We know that the Germans cannot be trusted, and extensive plans in the West are necessary to secure our future. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Yes. More defense and organization? Yes, please. Actually, we can't raise a conscription level. Yeah, darn it. Dang it. We're gonna get another one? No. Well, anyone can tell you we have low manpower, man. Okay, we got him. Good. Hmm. Yugoslavia, Estonia. Oh, we could go to Estonia as well right now, but... Average compliance in Lithuania is 80%. Oh, here's the rails. Oh, we're not, we're not even close. Oh, what? The county? What? Why? Why? Belgium. Hmm. Not good. Well, you guys are busy with the allies. You seem to be doing okay against them, though, but they're losing Africa. Hmm. A quick war against the Germans. Well, it won't be, first of all, it won't be quick. Secondly, the, our allies don't have enough divisions either. It's not looking good. Would it be possible to go to war with these guys as fast as possible? Turn around, kill off the Soviets as well. <sighs> oh, they don't have that many divisions, though. This could be the most opportune time to kill them off. It depends on what happens. I don't know where the Germans are on their focus tree either. Um, National Brotherhood. They're fighting the allies already. They probably don't want to go to war with us anyways. I do want to ally with them. So we'll see what happens. You know what? We'll make a decision. Um, probably off screen. We demand Pomerania. Or we could just go through Germany. Pomerania was once part of the Polish state and now remains in German hands. Though few would ever believe we have a chance, we must cast to die and take what is it's ours. Uh, we could try that. You know what? We'll just decide that off screen. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably make a giant mistake and lose most of our puppets. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.